Alrighty, uh, post hibernation update on Prenolepis in Paris. This is a three queen, queen colony that Dorbix started for us, and we adopted mid season last year, and I've had updates on this already. So you can see all three queens in there, and they are doing healthy, and it's clean, and things are good, but uh, after the last update toward the end of the year, their tube got really dirty, and uh, fungus started, so I had to do an emergency switch. You know, shake them from one tube to another and then kind of transfer what I could. And the corpulents didn't move very easily. They were, I had to move them by hand with a toothpick and and all of that. So it was difficult and, and some died before I noticed it's the, the fungus had started. Uh, I checked them a lot, but uh, at any rate, so we lost a, a number of, uh, a number of workers. They're not, uh, I don't think we lost half, but we lost, you know, a fair, fair number and they're not as many. And the corpulents tended to die more easily than the regular workers. You can see the corpulents are, are the, uh, ones with the big abdomens and the regular workers, like the one right in the center there, right next to the fly, right above the fly. Um, that's like a regular, uh, gatherer worker. Um, so they all did fine, but the corpulents tended to die off a little bit. So we don't have as many, and of course, the way they raise their young is the, the corpulents' contents are what is used to raise the, the larva and the brood that they have once a year. So they basically lay and uh, feed their larva from the corpulents, um, and then when the corpulents are empty, that's all the larva they have. And then the, all of those larvae pupate, and everybody's empty, and then when the new callows emerge, everybody goes out and uh, uh, both the current workers, uh, the current regular workers and the recent corpulents that are no longer corpulent, all of those go out and gather up food and stuff full and make new corpulents out of all of the new callows. So we don't have eggs yet. Uh, in fact, they've had like no activity so far. Looking at them now, this is more by far more activity than I've ever seen. And I've never seen a fly in the tube. So it looks like things are starting to heat up I'll take a close look at this video. Maybe they started laying and I missed it, but uh, I have not seen eggs. I have not seen anybody outside the outworld. Um, there are tons of fruit flies there available and honey and all that, but they've basically been staying at home. I only see one corpse as far as ants go, and that's right there. So I think we're doing pretty good. It looks like they're really starting to get interested. There are a couple of uh, fly carcasses up there and then one down in here, and they're actually moving around and whatnot. So I expect we'll see eggs soon. And even though we had a little bit of a, a die off in a bad tube, it looks like they've recovered and hopefully that it'll just slow them down a little bit. So that is it. Thank you.